Welcome. Now we're talking about information security frameworks and standards. And COBIT is one of the world's leading, most well-known IT governance frameworks. And it's also certifiable like 27001 and PCI DSS. So COBIT is an ISACA framework for IT governance specifically. And COBIT 5 helps enterprises to create optimal value from IT by maintaining a balance between realizing benefits and taking advantage of the business and optimizing risk levels and resource use. So it's a balance between these three aspects. And it optimizes these three aspects uh, while implementing IT governance. Now, these are the three major objectives or benefits of COBIT-5. You have strategic alignment with the organization and its objectives and making sure that IT aligns with the strategic alignment. There's value delivery. Is IT delivering value to the business? There's risk management. There's, ma there's balancing the risk of what we're doing and the IT uh, functions with the uh, advantages that we're deriving from IT. And then there's resource management. Are we optimizing that? And then there's performance management. Is IT performing? How are we going to measure the performance? Who is going to measure it? When are we going to measure it? So COVID-5 brings together five principles that allow the enterprise to build an effective governance and management framework. And it's based on a holistic set of seven enablers, five principles, which are tools, and seven enablers. And the seven enablers um, help to optimize IT investment and use for the benefit of stakeholders. So these are the five principles, meeting stakeholder needs, covering the enterprise end-to-end, -end, which is covering all of it, applying a single integrated framework, enabling a holistic approach, and separating governance from management. And these are the enablers. In the middle, you have principles, policies, and frameworks. Then you have processes, organizational structures, culture, ethics, and behavior, information, services, infrastructure, applications, people, skills, and competencies. So you have uh, all of these seven uh, different enablers. Governance ensures that enterprise objectives are achieved by evaluating stakeholder needs, conditions, and options, setting direction through prioritization and decision-making, so evaluating and direction, and monitoring performance, compliance, and progress against agreed direction and objectives. So EDM is the function of governance, evaluating, directing, and monitoring. Now, management is different from governance, as explained by COVID-5. Management plans, builds, runs, and monitors. Plans, builds, runs, and monitors. Activities in alignment with the direction set by the governance body to achieve the enterprise objectives, and that's plans, builds, runs, and monitors, PBRM. So this graphic, which you may not be able to see very clearly, um, I'll explain what this is. On the top, you have evaluate, direct, and monitor. And on the right side, monitor, evaluate, and assess. And these are different processes, which are tools which COVID-5 has developed in a structured manner for the implementer implementers and for the organization where these processes are being implemented for COVID-5. And then you have align, plan, and organize processes. And then you have build, acquire, and implement processes. And then you have deliver, service, and support processes. So COVID-5 is a detailed framework for IT governance developed by ISACA, which has principles, enablers, and processes. These tools assist implementers and customer organizations to successfully deploy the framework. And it is a certifiable framework as well. And there's certification trainings, and you can get the organization certified against COVID-5 as well. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.